What's up YouTube? This is Dr. Shima. Welcome to another HD2 app review. Today we're going to be viewing Tweetcast. Now this is a free application from the Android market. If you like Twitter, then this is a nice application for you. It's one of my favorites. And the reason for that is because you can change a lot of different things. Now this side, they have a paid version and a free version. This is the free version. Let me just open it up and show you a little bit what it looks like. This is basically what it looks like, the interface. And you can, you can scroll up and down and stuff like that. And uh, you can do a lot of different things. Now one of the things I like about this is that you can actually check your direct messages or anything like that. If you have some of your favorites that you got a uh, favorite, it'll, it'll actually show that up. And then some of your recent uh, tweets that you've been getting, you can probably see that. And of course you go to the main tweet page. Now when you actually when you want to kind of post a tweet, just hit the top here. It's got a nice, as far as interface, because it has a full screen. This is a full screen where you can actually text from and uh, post your tweets. Now on the top here you can see you can actually send and we got another little button here that kind of picks it up and it'll bring up to your pictures. You can add a picture, add a video and stuff like that which is pretty nice to send with your tweets. And then if I hit this it kind of brings a little drop down menu of some of the recent tweets. It kind of changes the interface a little bit actually. Okay so we got that. Now if I hit my menu on the bottom here it's going to actually bring up another uh, menu in the bottom and I can actually jump to the top of the page instead of actually scrolling so it brings me to the most recent tweets that have actually been posted and we got the refresh button here hit the menu again you got people and these are different people that you kind of follow and stuff like that so it gives you a nice uh, access to just about everything you got tweet filters and of course you have more where you can actually uh, quick follow, Twitter status, refresh all and you can exit the application and if you need any help you can actually find that too. I click the setting tabs and this is where you can make some of the customizations as far as the interface and uh, you got a couple of themes here you can change. You can change the dark bubbles, light bubbles, dark and light. Uh, for instance I have it on dark right now so I want to change the light I just click that, click exit and it'll just change it for me. You see that? So the interface is now lighter. So if I go back in there and just do that again, change things. Let's do let's do the uh, light. Let's do dark bubbles. Hit exit, and it'll change the bubbles. And you'll see it be dark. Let's just go here, and you can see the the bubbles are kind of dark. So that's pretty nice. And then if you go back into the setting tab, you can actually change uh, the language, notifications, how you want notifications received, and stuff like that. Order, refresh. I click on customize. I can change the mentor colors, the mention color. I can change that. Uh, my tweet colors, the fun size. You can actually change from small and medium to large. So if you have trouble kind of viewing it, that'll help out a little bit. Uh, display the full name. So that's pretty nice. All right, so they do have a paid version, I believe. I want to say it's about three or four bucks. If you're kind of interested in that, uh, you might want to check that out. But this is Tweetcast. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I'll uh, post your comments along with the video. If you're, if you use Twitter, uh, I would like to know, and uh, let me know how you like this application. I'll see you guys on my channel, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.